Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my minecart chest storage system with password. So we're gonna see what this thing does, and I'm gonna start building it. So if we just walk up to any one of these, see these sets of repeaters, so I can go inside, and there's gonna be repeaters in here. This one says glowstone, so I'm gonna go inside, and there's glowstone in here. And this one says piston, so I'm gonna go in here, and there should be pistons in here. Now the whole password part is, if I click these pressure plates in a certain order, well, it doesn't really need to be a certain order, but if I click the right ones without clicking the wrong ones, it will open up a if I click the wrong one it will reset it now of course if I go over all of them like this it will not open up the door obviously but I just did that because some people might you know attempt to do that so what we're pretty much I'm just gonna reset it real quick that's one of that's not one of them so my password is redstone dust redstone lamp rail or 157 I kept it very simple so if I click the redstone or it doesn't really matter which order I click them in though and if I click the redstone lamp and if I click the rail it will open up a secret door right here I can go inside of it, and this is where I keep all my good stuff, where I got all my diamonds, my iron, my gold, my emeralds, all my diamond stuff, and all my books and whatnot. <laughs> and of course, I could close it up in here if I want to, in case I'm going to be in here for a while so people don't know I'm in here. And we leave it. And then to just reset it, all we have to do is click any one that is not our code, and it will reset it right behind us. So this is what it looks like behind here. It's not that hard to build, guys, but it does take quite the resources to build. However, it's really cool. And I will, I will, you know what, I'll show how to build a jet door. Everyone keeps asking me to build a jet door. I don't want to do it because, I mean, it's like the most simple piston door ever. But I'll show how to build it in this episode. So let's just start building this thing, guys. All right, guys, so before we start building this thing, this thing is directional. Not because of redstone, but due to minecarts because we need this nice little, uh, the, the thin side of the minecart. We need the vertical thin side of the minecart, not the horizontal part. So we can only build this thing west or east. We can only build it west or east, like I said, because we cannot stack minecarts next to each other when they're facing this direction. So you want your minecarts to look like this while we're building it. So let's start building this thing. So for this build, we're going to need a 17 by eight space. And like I said, I'm gonna make it the largest you can build it. You can make it much smaller if you want. And we have to dig down two. However, we have to dig down three in one area for this thing. So right here is where our walkway is. So right here's our wall. This block right here is where our wall is gonna be. And this is our walkway right here. So let's get out some stuff we're going to need to build this thing. Now, I'm not going to give the direct amount we're going to need for this build since it's pretty much depends on how much you guys want to make it. And let me get out my mod carts with rails as well. So pretty much what we're going to do is go to the bottom left hand side. Once we got our 17 by 8 spacing, and we dug down our two and our three and everything and all that good stuff. Come to the bottom left hand side and count over three blocks. So one, two, three. And then right here, we're going to come down one right where our walkway is. And this is where our first pressure plate's going to go. So what I'm going to actually do is build one storage system just to show you how it works. And then we're going to speed through the other ones a little faster. But this is how you pretty much make the storage system. If you don't want to make the password and just the storage system, it's very easy. So what we're going to do is put a repeater down from where our pressure plate is. So if I click it, the repeater comes on. Next, we're going to put a block of choice in front of that. The reason why we do this is because we will be able to see this block when our thing opens up. Next, what we're going to do is put our mine card in. So put a block right above your repeater. We can delete that when it's not needed. Put a rail on top of it and put a mine card on top of that and then delete it and our mine card will fall down there. As you can see, it's going vertical the way we want it. If it's going the other way, if it's horizontal, then you're going to have to set it up a different way, guys. It has to be this way right here, like that. Next, what we're going to do is put a torch off the back of our block of choice. So when we click this uh, pressure plate, the torch goes off like that. And then we're gonna put a sticky piston right above this torch. So what I like to do is just come two blocks up right here and then put a sticky piston facing towards us. It will extend out, put a block of choice in front of it and there's your storage system, that's it. So if you just redo the same step over and over again, guys, that's the storage system. So if you don't want the password and just the storage system, you're done, that's it. So now all we have to do is just build it 14 more times. So literally from here, it can only go up to 15 guys. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. Next, what we're going to do is just put our repeaters down here. We're going to do the same thing like we did over there. Just put your repeaters down. Put your block of choice in front of them. Next, just take a block and put it right above your repeaters. I'm on creative, so I'm just going to speed through it. If you're doing this on survival, I, I think you should do it one at a time just so you don't lose your rail because that's resources you don't need to lose. Then we just put it down like that and delete it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it very quick, guys. I'm just going to put rails all the way down and I'm just going to go boop, delete it, boop, delete it, boop, delete, and just going to do the rest of it very fast. So faster. Ah. <laughs> I would put speed potions on, but I just don't like the swirls. I don't like those little swirls and I don't feel like drinking milk to get rid of it as well. I'm not one of those people. 
So then we just click. I'm just going to collect all this stuff just so it's not in my way. Like that. Then we're just going to put torches off the back side of all the blocks. Like so. And then we're just going to put sticky pistons above all of them. So just come over here to your first sticky piston and just place them all down like this. There we go. And then just put blocks of choice in front of them. So like I said, if you just wanted the storage system, you're done. That's it. So like here's one storage system. Here's the second one and all that good stuff. Very easy to do, guys. Now what we're going to do is the password part, the hard part. So out of every single one of these torches down here, we're just going to put a repeater coming out of it. As you can see, the repeater comes on. So just go all the way down. Now here is where you make your password up. This is the part where you decide what numbers you want. Now I already know what numbers I want. I want one, five, eight, 10, 14. Those are the numbers I want. So here's one. So this is number one right here. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna go right in front of this repeater. I'm gonna dig down a block and put a sticky piston here and the sticky piston will extend up. So that's one. So if I click this down, there we go. So there's one. Now I'm gonna count over five. So one, two, three, four, five. I want one, five like that so now we got an understanding and i'm just going to count from here so now i want eight so here's five six seven eight now i want ten so eight nine ten and now i want fourteen so ten 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's my password right there. And then I'm just gonna block blocks all above them. This will create falling edge monostable circuits and then put repeaters right behind them as well. Like that. Now for every single one you didn't add your password to, just put another repeater coming out of it. They should all come on. The reason why we have to do this because anything right here that can activate the sticky piston will mess it up. So we need these repeaters here. Next, what we're gonna do is put blocks in front of all these on repeaters. These are the ones that are not part of our password. And make sure all these repeaters stick to one tick, guys. Do not make them four or two or three. These have to be on one ticks, these ones. So I just, just usually keep all of them the one tick. That's all you really have to do. Now, off of every single one of these blocks, we're gonna put a torch. The torches should go off thanks to these on repeaters in the back. Now, I, re I remind you guys, this is not part of your code right here. This is to reset it. In case you put the wrong one in, this resets it. This is all this does. It just resets everything. And then right here, we have to dig down another block and just put dust all along these until we get to our first one. This is the first one right here. This is number one. And then we're going to come out one more block digging down. We're going to put a repeater here on one tick delay and then put a torch in front of it on this block. So, you know, actually, let me delete this block, put a green block, and put a torch right here. Next, what we're going to do is in front of every one of these one tick delay repeaters coming out of our falling edge model stable circuits, we're going to put a sticky piston facing upwards like so. Now, all you literally have to do is just take any block. I'm going to be using glass and you're also going to need sand as well for this part. So I'm going to be putting a piece of glass on top of my sticky pistons. Like I said, you can use cobblestone if you want to. If you're doing this on survival and you don't feel like wasting glass, you go ahead and use cobblestone and then put sand on top of each one or gravel, sand or gravel. It has to be a falling block like that. Now what we're going to do is connect all these sand blocks together by putting an extra row of blocks in between every single one of them. So just put a row of blocks in between all of them, like so. And then right here from our torch, we're going to come up a block and then up another block next to our sand and we're going to put dust on top of both of these blocks. Now, of course, if your password doesn't start from one, you know, you're going to have to bring it down more or something like that. But mine, it starts from one right here. So all I have to do is go up two. This will not change anything in the whole entire build. It just brings the power up, guys. <laughs> Next, what we're going to do is pretty much just make sure we can make the power go through all of them. So what I'm going to do is put a repeater here on this side. So now if I click one, this block will go up. See, it goes up and then it activates this repeater. So now let me just reset it real quick. If I click any of these blocks, it will reset it. So now all we have to do is pretty much make the whole line able to go all the way through. So what I like to do is in between each one, let's say I don't have anything right here. Just put a block here and then put a repeater here. Then we skip the sand block because, you know, if we put something here, it's just going to go up and delete it. So then just put a repeater there and then just put another repeater. If you have two away, put another repeater, repeater. And then if there's three away, I just put a block, repeater, and then another. I like to actually like putting dust here. I like putting dust there <laughs> on the end one. And of course, I'll show in case you guys want two of them right next to each other. I'll show how to do that at the end. Next, what we're going to do is come over down here and swing back down here where our torch is right here. And we're going to put a torch coming out of the block that's right above our on torch. And then we're just going to put a line of blocks going all the way down next to these sticky pistons. These are our password sticky pistons. Keep that in mind. These are our password sticky pistons. And then just put dust all along these blocks. And then right here, stop. And then right on this block coming out of this off torch, you're going to put a repeater going this way on one tick delay. Now this will reset everything. This will reset all of these pistons and all that good stuff. So let's say if I put in one like that, 
click that, and then I click this one, it will reset them all, Boop. and it all goes down. Very easy, guys. That's what that does. It resets everything, and it also helps us put a button inside our secret area as well once we're done. But there you guys go. That is it. So now if I put my password in, one, five, eight, ten, and fourteen. And as you can see, the power made it all the way to the end. So it will activate our door and everything. So, oh yeah, I almost forgot to show you guys, uh, in case you want two pistons right next to each other for a password, let's say, cause it can get a little weird if you have two of them right next to each other. So let's, uh, let's just reset it real quick. Boop. So everything gets reset. So what I want, let's say, okay, say you want two of them. So right here, I'm gonna delete this right here. And let's say I want another one right here. So I'm gonna put a sticky piston right here, block here, uh, repeater going this way into a sticky piston right above this with some sand and some, where is it? Glass. Whoa, what the heck? How did the sand block get underneath you? Okay. <laughs> so we want a glass block here like that. And then we want our sand blocks right above it. Ooh, and put that right above it. So now how do we go from this? How do we do this? So what we're gonna do literally is just come out towards the right, towards our pistons over here. We're gonna put a repeater going this way on one tick delay, put a block in front of it, and then a block down from it, and put dust going this way into this sand block. Of course, we're gonna have to delete this and put a repeater here as well. So now if I click this one over here, it goes up and activates the dust going this way. Now if I click the one right next to it, We'll do the same thing again and create two of them right next to each other and that's in case you guys want two of them right next to each other do i recommend doing three next to each other not really i would go with two and that's about it guys but if you want to do three just do the same thing here going this way like that so there you guys go. That's how in case you want to put up two of them right next to each other. All right, guys. So now we're going to build our Jeb door. Now, if you want it in the exact location that I had it right over there, all we have to do is come to the end of our storage area. So this is our last storage. Mine's number 15. Yours can be whatever. And then we're just going to count over two from this. So one, two. And then right here is where our Jeb door is going to start. So one, two, and go into the wall. Go into the wall at least once. So here's our wall right here. Go into the wall at least once. And then we're going to put two power rails right here like that just to marker it. But we're going to need these power rails. So let's just start building our jeb door so right here is where our jeb door is going to be opening up from so what we're going to do is face our two power rails over there and we're going to put four sticky pistons in like this and then two facing towards the front of our wall and then we're going to put two blocks of choice in front of it and then we're going to pretty much leave a two by two area right here and then do the same thing over here put two power rails then we're going to put four sticky pistons facing towards us two facing outwards towards our wall with two blocks of choice in front of them like that Next, what we're going to do is put four blocks of choice right above our top right here because we will be able to see them. And then we can pretty much just use whatever we want. I'm going to be using lime wool. And then come down a block right above these power rails on both sides. Like so. Next, what I want you to do is put dust all along these four. Put dust all along these four. Then going this way into this dust, we're going to put a repeater on the front side. This is our front. Put a repeater going this way on two ticks delay. And then put another repeater going this way on four ticks delay. Do the same thing on this side. Going in the front, two ticks. And over here is four ticks. And then connect them all together in the middle with dust like that. And that's your jab door. That is literally it. So if I put a lever here and click it down, it goes like that. And then click it in and it opens up. So now if we put our whole wall in, make it look nicer. And then we gotta click, and then we just gotta connect it to our password. So let's just fill this all in like that. And then take our flooring and put our whole flooring in. So there's our Jeb door, you know, boop. Can't see it. Now it's open. So now all we have to do is hook it over to our password. So right here is the end of our password. We are, I already have it activated. Actually, let me just reset it real quick. So I'm just gonna click any one I want and reset it. See, resets it. So right off this dust at the end, we're gonna come up a block from it and we're gonna put a torch here. Next coming, what we're gonna do coming out of the torch is we're gonna put a repeater on four ticks a leg. So, you know, just come this way if you really want to. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. And put a repeater coming out of it on four ticks a leg. And then what we have to do is connect this repeater over here to this line. So what I like to do is come up a block like that and then connect it over like this. Just go boop, 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 and boop. And now just connect it together. But we don't want to connect into this one. You'll see what I mean. So we're going to put dust all the way around. See how it connects over here? We don't want this. So just put a block here to get rid of that. And there you guys go. That's it. You're done. You got your Jeb door in. So now if I put my password in. One. Five. Eight. Ten. And fourteen. 
our jab door opens up. Now we want that button on the inside so we can close it and open it up from the inside. So all we have to do is hook a monostable circuit to this line right back here. So all you're gonna do is come out one more block, put a repeater going into the dust set to one tick delay, put a piston right behind it, a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top of it, a block down from it and put dust here and then literally just put a button going into this dust. So I just put a wall block right here, take out a button. Let's get my button out, there we go. I'm gonna just use wood, whatever. And then if we click it here, closes, click it here opens up there you guys go that's how you build the whole entire thing very easy now like i said if you can don't have to use a jeb door here you can use whatever you want i do put inputs on all my builds usually so you can find a nice build that you want to put uh opening it up it doesn't even have to be a door you can just open up a certain thing maybe you just want to open up one little area that will open up a new chest down there with all your uh, stuff you can have another little storage area like this right here for all your good stuff that will unlock your good stuff right there but there you guys just go that's how you build my my card <laughs> i can't even remember how to say it. it's like a tongue twist minecart storage system minecart storage my minecart storage system with password if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace